So once again, ladies and gentlemen, give it up for the fashion show narrated by Rosanna Adnan. Gentlemen, sit back and relax as I will take you through an escapade of truly Malaysian runaway. First, we have the Baju Melayu and the Baju Kuro. This is the most favorite and simplified styling of Malay traditional culture that is worn in all 14 states. Baju Melayu by the gentleman is wearing a karis, an ancient form of weapon Malay men carried around during the olden days. And our lovely Jasmine here is wearing a baju kurung, which is a simple hemmed collar round with a stiff stitching called tulang belut. Next, Cheong Sam and Sam Fu. This is the traditional Chinese costume, Cheong Sam for the ladies and Sam Fu for the gentlemen. It is an originally styled in many layers of silk and fully embroidered with gold thread in luxurious silk brocade fabric. Now I'd like to present the sari and the kurta. These two are the most popular costumes among the various Indian costumes. The lady is in a beautiful sari and the gentleman is neatly dressed in a kurta. The Indian ethnic costumes are well known for its vibrant colors, richly decorated with woven gold and silver thread embroidery, including sequins and precious stones adornments. Next, I present Chet Siti Wan Kumbang, Ma Yo, and Ashe. But first of all, our lovely Ida here is dressed as Chet Siti Wan Kumbang, a princess who ruled the state Klantan in the 17th century. It is fashioned from three pieces of fabric the Songket Sarong, a lengthy silk piece worn over the chest, and the shawl, made, to song, made of Songket fabric worn over the shoulder. Next, I present to you Ma Yong. This is another costume that originates from the east coast of peninsular Malaysia, the state of Kantan. It is known as Ma Yong, a traditional dress worn for over than 400 years old Ma Yong dance, which was a royal entertainment during the olden days. Ashik. Our gorgeous Liza here is wearing the Ashik dance costume also originating from Klantan, is a brocade blouse worn with a chiffon shawl. Decorative belt, pendant, and headdress complements this attire. First of all, Zarith Ganga. This is a Perak princess culture, a state up north of the peninsula of Malaysia. It is a silk Achehnese pants, with gold thread embroidery, kind something tied at the waist with an impressive belt and top garment known as Baju Chika Musa. This is a costume made from the state down south in Johor known as the Chika Musa, which is a top garment, has a full button up neckline worn with a Songket Sarong. Now, the very famous Kebaya Nyonya. This, ladies and gentlemen, is also a very popular Malaysian traditional costume known as the Kebaya Nyonya. This has a very legendary story behind it because this costume emerged after the wedding of the Malacca Sultan with a Chinese princess, Princess Hang Li Po. So it is a fashion of both Malay and Chinese culture. Now 
I present to you Minal. This gorgeous green attire is from the straight Negri Sembilan. For affluent women descendants of the Minangkabau, these garments are made from gold thread, embroidery velvet adorned with labuji. Their sarongs are fully patterned sunket from Pantai Siko in Sumatra. Lotu. This is a beautiful costume from the ethnic group Lotu from East Malaysia State Sabah. The costumes are in cotton fabric with colorful patterns called Tinubagi and Linangkit embroidery. Now, the Kadazan. This is also a gorgeous culture of the ethnic origin Kadazan from the state of Sabah. The garments are made from black velvet fabric with gold embroidery. The gentleman here is wearing a gaung top, suva trousers, togot waistband, and siga headgear. The ladies are wearing a Sinuanga blouse. Murut. This, ladies and gentlemen, is a famous Murut traditional costume, also originating from the state of Sabah. The gentleman here is wearing a Barbaru jacket and the Puputal tree bark loincloth. The headgear is called Tipu Sinulatan, made from a tree bark. The lady on the other hand is in a cotton pinoncolo costume patterned with traditional motifs and beads. Now I present to you Bajau. Again from the East State Sabah, the maiden is wearing a blouse called Badu Sampit and sarong called Olos Berangkit. The gentleman is wearing a baju cikap musang, trousers, and a headgear. Now, Melanau. The fashion style of Melanau, men is in a simple satin attire worn with brocade something and Javanese style headgear. The woman folk usually wears baju baban with oversized cuff and sarawat songket, including gold and silver adornments. And last but not least, I present to you batik. Batik is nowadays recognized all over the world due to its recent enhancement into new modern contemporary fusion as we can see here, Abby in the pink kaftan top has been improvised to the, to the suits and likes of the modern day world. Last but not least, with the batik, this sums up our little Malaysian fashion runway escapade tonight. I hope you enjoyed this with me. Once again, I present to you the many wonders that splendidly splash our truly Malaysia cultural attire. Wow, that was really, really beautiful. All that fine work, all that embroidery, all that colors. Oh my God, I'm so proud to be Malaysian because I have all these costumes to wear.